Hello and welcome to Naya in Club Fishin, a world-renowned company in import of tilapia fish, is investing rupees 1,000 crore in Telangana for setting up the largest freshwater aquaculture project in the world. The company will be setting up the project near Mid Manair Reservoir, Rajanna Sarsila District. Arizona-based leading medical devices company Confluent Medical Technologies will be establishing a pilot manufacturing facility in Hyderabad. For the first time in India, the company would be introducing high-end technology for manufacturing of nitinol products. In much relief to IT employees, the Telangana State Road Transport Corporation TSRTC has recently started a bus service from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological in University Hyderabad to Wave Rock. The mini AC buses will ply via Cyber Towers, Mindspace, Biodiversity Park, Gachibali, Wipro, Infosys, ICICI Bank, Financial District and Amazon. The bodies of the 11 victims of the Bhoigoda fire mishap were shifted from the Gandhi Hospital mortuary to the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport on Thursday morning. The bodies will be later flown to Patna, from where the families of the victims will shift them to their na native towns. Most of the victims are from Chapra district of Bihar. The authorities have arranged for a special flight to shift the bodies. After five years, the Telangana State Electricity Regulatory Commission TSERC, has announced a 14% increase in retail power supply tariffs for the financial year 2022-23 as against the increase of 18% proposed by the DISCOMS. The state government has issued orders giving sanction for filling up of 30,450 posts in different government departments through various recruitment organizations including the Telangana State Public Service Commission TSPSC on Wednesday. These orders issued by the finance department paved the way for beginning the recruitment process. There was something about fires and the city on Wednesday. The city which woke up to the Bhoigoda horror in which 11 lives were lost witnessed at least four more fire incidents after that. Fortunately, there were no casualties in the other incidents. These included a moving car catching fire with the passengers having a lucky escape at Jiri Metla. The other incidents were at Bag Amberpet where three huts were gutted at Balanagar where a fan manufacturing unit went up in flames and at Tarnaka where a patch of dry grass caught fire. During one of the media interactions, Junior NTR, who is now being identified for his crazy dialogue imitation from Telugu movies, was seen imitating almost every funny dialogue from Telugu movies. Telangana Governor Tamilisai Sondarajan will be inaugurating an international conference on Green Energy International Conference on Green Energy powering MSMEs for future at the National Institute for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Yusuf Gura, Hyderabad. The task force during separate raids caught three persons for illegally refilling LPG cylinders in the city on Wednesday. They were refilling gas from domestic cylinders into smaller ones. The arrested persons were Mohammad Aslam from Monda Market, Mohammad Jilani from Chikalgura and Azmat Ali Khan from Karkhana. Police seized 12 large and 109 small cylinders and other materials. A retired sub-inspector Padi Raj Reddy died in a road accident which occurred near Huzurabad town in the early hours of Thursday. The incident occurred when a car wherein the deceased was travelling towards Varangal hit a roadside palm tree on the outskirts of Huzurabad town. He died on the spot. A 22-year-old man who was reportedly mentally unstable and taking shelter at a home run by missionaries of charity in Kolkata for almost a year has now been reunited with his family in Anandpur here thanks to the efforts of ham radio operators. With 1,938 coronavirus infections being reported in a day, India's total tally of cases rose to 4 crore 30 lakhs 14,687, while the active cases further declined to 22,427, according to Union Health Ministry data updated of Thursday. The death toll has climbed to 5,16,672 with 67 daily fatalities, the data updated at 8 a.m. stated. 
More than 100 school students have been admitted to Patna Medical College and Hospital when they complained of uneasiness after consuming lunch during Bihar Divas celebrations. The conditions of many are stated to be critical, said hospital sources. A youngster died on the spot when two groups of two marriage parties clashed with each other over playing loud music at Kalwa Thanda village in Dilawarpur Mandal on Wednesday. The incident came to light on Thursday. Seven persons were booked for allegedly being involved in the killing. Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy has alleged that the Telugu Desam Party was unscrupulously trying to foist all actions of its regime on the present YSR Congress Party government. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea DPRK fired an unidentified projectile into eastern waters, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff JCS said Thursday without mentioning further details. It came after the South Korean military said the DPRK fired four shots of multiple rocket launchers off its coast on Sunday. Now the gold rates, 22 carat gold rupees 47,350 and 24 carat gold rupees 51,670. Dollar rates, 1 US dollar is equivalent to 76.38 Indian rupee. With this I end up with the headlines, but before that, let me remind you, please don't forget to press the bell icon, like, share and subscribe our channel. Take care, stay safe.